Gretchen. Thank you for returning for part three. So um, basically we ended by letting you know that unfortunately the lawsuit was lost. Um, we're just hoping that she did get some type of nice pension um, in the situation, especially if the person that we search for is deceased now. And we're definitely hoping that she was able to get some type of peace of mind after that type of experience that she had with the school. And, you know, in, in this situation as an HR professional, I want you to, to think of how you would have handled the situation differently if you needed to um, talk to the executive or manager who was treating the employee in a manner to force them out. I would like for you to start thinking about if you're ever faced with that type of situation, because it does happen, let's just face it, sometimes business is just business, and the fact that someone's been there for 36 years doesn't really play a big role in that business is just business decision. So how would you handle it? Like, at what point would you actually get involved, um, and how would you have those gentle conversations with that executive based on the style that he is using to... Uh, basically force an employee out like and just for in general do you agree with forcing out employees or do you think that there's a different way that it can be handled that allows employees to man maintain um, some dignity and self-respect um, and so those are the type of things I would like for you to think about as an HR professional as you are actually working with employees and the executives and trying to find that balance of satisfying the business, but also keeping in mind that employees are human beings. So I definitely wanted to um, go over those details with you. And definitely at the end, please do, if you haven't done anything, go ahead and follow our podcast on YouTube. Um, we definitely try and list um, new podcasts as frequently as possible. And we would love to have you follow us and join us in the community. And let's have some conversations about some of these things that are happening in real life and true life. And um, this is Chris Lou saying, it only takes five minutes to stay out of HR jail. Have a great day.